Hi folks, step one is create your story on a scroll. So what I have is some baking paper or tracing paper and a pencil and I'm mapping out the title of my project and I'm drawing in some stones, the kind of stones that you find at the bottom of a fish bowl because my story is all about Tootsie the Goldfish. When you've finished mapping out your project and the drawings in it Outline it in black marker or a dark coloured marker because it gives it much more definition when you go to colour in. So after I've outlined my project in black marker, I'm using colouring pencils to add some colour to the story. You can use collage markers or any medium that you like to work with so that we come out with a nice story, a long story that, that we can put between our two scrolls in our cranky machine and crank it along. Okay, so step two is creating our own cranky box. So we use an old shoe box, you can turn it up, you can see it there. Two cardboard tubes two ice lolly sticks, one length of baking paper, that's for our scroll, three skewers, some sticky tape, a ruler, a light source or torch, thumbtacks, a wooden board and a craft knife. As you can see, I'm marking out the screen area at the bottom of the box and I'm using a ruler so you get this nice rectangle. Now, I'm using a steel ruler because it helps keep it secure. Uh, mind your fingers, warning is this is using a craft knife so you'll need a parent to help you because they're very, very sharp. Okay, so once I got that done, I can just clear out any tassely bits. You can see that's the bottom of the box, and the top of the box opens out flat. Okay, so I'm just getting my tubes, and um, so I'm going to measure three centimeters into the center of the tube on the side of the box and roughly three centimetres in from the back of the box. So that's kind of almost it. Uh, and I'm going to draw a circle around that so I know where to place the tube or where to make my cuts. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side after I just finish off that circle. Okay, and I'm going to roughly find, find the same distance on the other side. It doesn't have to be absolutely accurate, but it gives you a sense of where to place for balance. I'm just going to outline this in a black marker, just so I can see it a little bit better. It doesn't have to be absolutely accurate, because we're going to cut into it in a moment. So using my skewers, I'm just going to measure whereabouts the skewers might go to hold the screen in place. So they want to be maybe about a centimetre back from the from where the screen at the front begins and maybe a centimetre in. Yeah, and so we just punch through the wooden skewers, the for kebabs, uh, for barbecues, so that you should be able to get them in any household store. And in we go on the other side as well. And we're able to push them through to the other side, keeping them nice and straight. Now for the tricky bit, 
So this is where you'll need a parent to help you. So we're going to cut into the circle. We're going to cut into 16th and 8th. So it looks like a crown on the inside. And then we make our cranky handles. Cranky handles again using a very sharp blade. And uh, we're cutting into it so we can fit in our lollipop sticks so that we can make a nice handle. So as you can see, we're just making a little neck in it there just to make sure it fits in nice and snug. And as you can see, this is how the cranky handle will work. This is, you can see I've cut two holes at the bottom. You can see where one is, has, has, has torn a bit. So I fixed that with a little bit of gaff tape. So I have my two cranky handle tubes to fit in both sides of the box. And the two little holes for the dowels. So I'll put one dowel in first. And we just poke that through and it'll come out the other side. Lovely, as you can see it just sits inside the screen. And I'm going to use some blue tack just to secure it there in place in case it moves when we're cranking. So you can see a little bit of it's coming out the bottom there. Okay, there we are, fixed in. Okay, so now we get our cranky handle and we poke it through. Now we poke it from the bottom because all of the card is sticking up on the inside so it will make it very difficult to push it down through. It also keeps the cranky handle in place and it tends not to move so much. So that's good. So just poke it through a little bit. We can push it up and we'll push it in flush to the bottom of the box. Okay, there we are. There it is there, nice and neat and tidy. Then we just add the handle at the top so you can see where it goes. And this is how our cranky handle works. We twist it round and when we add the scroll, it will turn the scroll around. Okay, so here we have our scroll. This is our baking paper that we have coloured in. We have mapped out our story. Um, I based it on the kitchen and in the fishbowl. And here we are at the beginning. And we have to poke it down underneath the dowel. So I'm going to move that out of the way so you can see. Okay, I'm going to put that in behind the dowel to keep the screen in place. bit tricky. Yeah, that's it. So we're going to pull that out. Now we have to pull out, we have to pull out our, our cranky handle again and push it through because it's too difficult to push it through the other way. Now, here we have it in place. Now we just check that it's nice and flush with the bottom of the box. Great. And we get a little bit of, oh, there's our handle. We'll put in our handle and we're going to get some sellotape now um, to stick it. I have gaffer tape here. It seems to be quite good with the baking paper. So here we are. We just, we just stick that there. So we stick the baking paper to the scroll. Nice and firm so that when we twist it round it'll stick. So and that's going to run the whole way. So there you can see I'm holding it in place so that it doesn't get too crooked within the box. It can be a little bit tricky just getting this in at the right angle and just we don't want to crease our paper or crumple our paper because that can cause us problems further on. There we are, you can see how the handle works and we crank it around.
Okay, now we got to the end of the roll, so you can see the end of the roll, and I have the other dowel in place, and we just we push our paper in behind that dowel. We just move the handle to give it a little bit more paper. That's it. Sometimes it's helpful to have somebody else to give you a hand with this, maybe to hold things still. Okay, so we're going to take off the handle, we're going to push it through. See, same as the last one, open up nice and flush with the bottom of the box, and we're going to pull the bacon pa paper and do exactly the same thing on this side now with the with the mask and tape, cello tape, or the gaffer tape. Ah, so we put a bit of gaffer tape on that, and we secure that down keeps it nice and secure because there's a bit of tension on the handles when we go to crank. So there we are, we have our scroll in place. I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, sticky tape on the top of those handles so they don't come out. So that can be just so we don't have anything that can be troublesome while we're cranking. Okay, so you can see the motion now, we move along, we move both handles at the same time, try and keep attention to keep it loose enough and tight enough so it doesn't break, loose enough so it doesn't break and tight enough so it doesn't get um, very loose. Okay, so this is the end of our story, so there's Tootsie, and that gives you the general gist of how it works. So we're just rewinding the film. So this is how the cranky box looks. And now we're going to secure it to a breadboard or if you've got any kind of board it helps. And so we're going to secure the cranky. Okay, so I'm going to put it flush against this old breadboard. And we'll need thumbtacks or a wooden, an old breadboard or a wooden board, both will do. So here I have a few thumbtacks and I'm going to just secure the cranky with them. So I'm going to push them in in each of those corners of the flap and then also just at the screen to keep it secure and keep everything secure so you can lift it up and move it around and it's not going anywhere. So that's pretty good. So then we need a small light or a torch to light up our cranky. Now you can use a little small torch. I've got this clampy, um, clampy lamp which is quite handy. It's like a bedside lamp. Ah, now it's very bright but that'll give you the sense of it. Now we saw at the beginning there was a little fish so I'm going to show you how to make a, a shadow puppet. So we're just going to cut out the shape of a, of a goldfish, that, that'll be Tootsie and that'll be our main character. And we'll just keep chopping away Tootsie's been part of our family for the last year and she came about when we went to the dentist our teeth were so nice we decided we'd get a goldfish so well Nana decided we'd get a goldfish so we got a goldfish and that's why her name is Tootsie and there she is little cardboard cut out goldfish there. and then I'm going to get another dowel like the wooden skewers that we had earlier on I'm going to poke it through yep just to hold it on the end and put a little bit of cell tape on the back of it then just to secure it and there we are there's our cranky lit up there's our shadow puppet 
and he's going to hop in there and he's going to make um, make some moves. So, Tootie's World. Ah, this is how to crank. The great help of uh, Clancy McQuillan. So while I'm cranking, moving the cranky handles along the top, Clancy is moving the fish. Our shadow puppet in the background, so we can tell our story. But we decided we wouldn't so much tell a story as just illustrate maybe the scenes that he's, that Tutsi sees as she travels around. So we want to get a piece of nice piece of music. We'll put it alongside. And this is the story of lockdown for Tutsi. And what's lovely about Tutsi is that even though she's in there all alone, she we we're always in chatting to her. And she's always got company. And she always has company because she always sees her own reflection in the bowl. So I want you to enjoy your own good cranking show so you can make a, a story up about something that happened in your family. And record it. Record it on your camera or your phone. So this is the one we made earlier. <laughs> 